company is ready for release too, so we can release in. Do we want to release in the field station too? Sure. Okay, so I'll release the rent. Well, anyone can come but Ren's and Bunny. Yeah. Okay. In the summer, we basically have only students working who it's their first time doing summer clinical, which it's basically a trade-off where the students start doing the more important jobs. We start giving patients medicine and like tube feeding babies. We have like a lot of skills that in the fall we worked on and learned that we are now being trusted to do on our own. And so it's that sort of independence leap. We do have staff here looking out for us and um, helping us with anything that we need. But for the most part, the students are doing all of the hands-on work. We are cleaning <laughs> cages, feeding patients, doing intakes and giving patients their treatment plans. So we have eight uh, Carolina Wrens who we got in as healthy orphans and we are gonna go release them at the uh, Elk Valley field station. So you can tell it's a good spot just by how many other um, insect eating species there are. I saw a red winged blackbird earlier. They also primarily eat insects. So I'm thinking these guys are going to be right at home with all these other birds. All right, you ready? So they'll eventually get used to it and they will perch up on these cat of nine tails and keep a watch on the water for any bugs that dip down or fly by so they could catch a little snack midair. So it's a good spot. You know where Morgan is? Uh, I think Dennis is going to go get him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this little bobcat is um, eating the formula and uh, these are, this is a special nipple that we use for him and he eats about 30 cc's per feeding. And so once the little bobcat is weaned, then we will put him out into an outdoor enclosure and then cut off all kind of connection with him so that he can just uh, be wild and, uh, you know, hopefully get released. Create a nice little towel surface so that he doesn't slide around. Okay, buddy. Okay, come on. How did uh, this bobcat come into your care? Actually, a veterinarian found him down at Lake Lure. Um, the vet's office is called Bonnie Bray, and it's down in Tryon, North Carolina. So he picked up this little kitten off the side of the road and after he picked it up, he realized it was a baby bobcat, but there was nothing, no mother around, no other kittens around. So guys, did this animal just come in? He did just come in. We had a transporter pick him up. It sounded like there was a deceased mom, and he was the only one that they could find. So he's probably just a lost baby. Is he tacky or anything? Um, he has a little bit of a skin tint. We can get some. His weight's 96. We can get him some fluids. 96. Yeah. What are you five giving mil, him? <laughs> five mils of LRS up here. I'm going to be itchy the rest of the day. Are you putting control on him? Yeah. I don't see any injuries. So this is our 30 foot enclosure and in here we usually will let smaller raptors in here like barred owls or we just had a cooper's hawk in here and later today an eagle will be going in here. So it's just to help them get um, back into the flight of things and getting their wings going and stuff so they can be released. Okay, now you can put his hood on. There we go. 
go. Now I'll calm down a little bit. Okay, baby, come here. was very very thin when he came in so he was weak and then uh, we fed him and he's a really good eater and so uh, he's gained probably three or four hundred grams so far and that's since last week so we're really pleased with his progress except that he's feeling better so he's harder to manage inside so now this is considered an intermediate caging for him that he's got low perches he doesn't have to try to fly and that um, you know, we can manage him out here. He'll probably be happier 